Salute, salute. Salute to God the most high, the creator of all things. You know, <laughs> salute to the uncut squad, salute to my day ones. If, <laughs> if you're just not discovering my platform as you come in, please, you know, and I thank you, but wipe your feet all over the uncut welcome mat. By hitting that like button, subscribe button, notification bell, share these videos, definitely share the experience. <laughs> Trolls, only God and your mama can love you. And last but not least, last but not least, last but certainly not least, y'all watch me a lot. Y'all know what time it is. One time, yeah, yeah. I say, one time, yeah. I say, one time, one time for the Uncut Squad, one time for the Gifted Family, one time for my sister Jay Stars, who's actually uh, messaging me right now. We've been corresponding, you know, and it's been great. Um, but listen, salute to God, the most high creator of everything, the real MVP and savior, y'all, the two salutes to the G.O.D. We going in. I'm laughing because... <laughs> hey, it ain't no fun when a rabbit got the gun, man. Listen... <laughs> everybody's ignoring this whole Venezuelan crisis right now, right? <laughs> and everybody's talking about what they'll do if <laughs> this came to their city, their town. Now, we know Chicago is one of the deadliest, you know what I'm saying, cities. One of the most deadly, man, listen, man. <laughs> Chicago be getting it in on no murders, bro. Well, I can't say that. Chicago be getting it in on unaliving each other, okay? <laughs> so... Somebody posted videos from Chicago for the projects talking about what they was going to do if <laughs> this Billy Swilling gang came to trying this. Like, they just, they don't care. They about the hood. They about their block, you know. <laughs> Y'all check this out on Willie D, man. Billy Swilling gang members pull up the old block bus. <laughs> and I'll let you know why I'm laughing, man. Let's get What's it. up, family? First Aurora, now Chicago. <laughs> Allegedly, Venezuelan gangs have pulled up on Old Block in Chicago, <laughs> and they want all the smoke. All the smoke. They are ready to go to war. And y'all know a lot of killing going on around Old Block. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I saw a video of what is allegedly a Venezuelan gang member talking about blood, you know. On I'm gonna drop this link in the description box in the description box. But yo, they posted up all in front of the park bitches throwing up their gang signs. <laughs> they looking hard, they looking tough, right? But it's only maybe about I wanna say one, two, three I don't even think it's fifteen of them. I don't even think it could be past ten, you know. <laughs> They must not know how Venezuela roll. <laughs> Let's go. That ain't enough. What? Blood on blood. You know, while the shoot is going on in the background. Then I saw a follow-up video of, well, I don't know if it's a follow-up video or if it, if it was released prior, but there's a video of some black guys standing out down the block saying, y'all got deafed up. They ain't taking over nothing over here. This our block ain't rule. What I want to emphasize, fam, is unless your name. We gonna start right there because he began to some other stuff. But <laughs> it's the fact everybody is like, oh, if that happened here, oh, they ain't coming here with that. Oh, yes, they are. <laughs> Oh, I wish I would. Well, they're gonna. <laughs> so all that good talk is out the door, ladies and gentlemen, kings and queens. You know what I'm saying? This is coming to a city near you. So all y'all gangsters, all y'all hardcore dope boys, all y'all people who don't give a faith. You know what I'm saying? Now is the time to show that you really don't give a faith. <laughs> if you can kill each other, I can't say that. If you can unalive each other, <laughs> then well, <laughs> it looks like there's a lot. Of, uh, there's about to be a lot of unaliving going on. You know, um, these Venezuelans are serious. Never, <laughs> never, never have I heard of a Chicagoan saying, 
or if you come here with this, if you come here with that, this is what we're going to do. And they not stand on it. <laughs> These Venezuelans got hold of the video and showed up to that block busting, asking no questions, giving no face about who they hit, who they did not care. <laughs> If y'all don't want these Venezuelans pulling up in your city, your hood, your community, your state, busting, you better not get on social media making those type of videos because <laughs> they are coming. <laughs> it's like we know Jesus coming and we know the Venezuelans are coming. <laughs> oh my God. Yo, I just imagine a bunch of hardcore dudes walk around their pants below their butt because they ain't man enough to pull their pants all the way up. <clears throat> you know, they might have their iron on the side. You know what I'm saying? Y'all know what I mean by iron. You know what I'm saying? They got them They got them fire sticks. You know what I'm saying? Mouth full of gold, jewelry, everywhere. They pulling out water, buddy. <laughs> they gangster to the Venezuelans pull up. <laughs> <laughs> you know the difference between the guys I just described and the Venezuelans? The Venezuelans come from a third world country. They are used to dying. They are used to fighting. They are really used to the savage life. <laughs> they are really used to this gang stuff. They really get down. You know what I'm saying? They make them sacrifices. They stand ten toes down. <laughs> for real, for real. And the group I described, well... <laughs> Y'all love y'all kids. Y'all love y'all mama. And you really love your life because you want to live to hustle another day. You want to live another day to tell another story or shoot for the baddest chick in your hood. You know, they ain't on that. <laughs> they, they give zero faith. They got no love. You know what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, these guys still want to live for something. And these guys ain't got nothing to live for. You know what I'm saying? They're going to make that sacrifice. And their kids are going to grow up and make that sacrifice. And their kids' kids are going to grow up and make that sacrifice. And they'll probably make it right here in America because, well, they are here. <laughs> and there's no denying that. So, hey, you Democrats, y'all voted for this. You know what I'm saying? I hope they show up to all the Democratic cities. <laughs> Everywhere where there's a Democratic, you know, county commissioner, sheriff, whatever, man. Whoever voted this in, man, I hope they show up to these these cities, these towns. Now, I don't want anyone to get hurt, but I do want those in charge of these cities to see what they've done to the people by letting these individuals in, you know. So I wish everyone well, and this is funny. Y'all don't make no videos about the Venezuelans and what y'all going to do now because the, cause they coming. Because <laughs> they coming. They ain't playing, man. These guys just hit another another gun shop. These guys done killed two girls in the same state. And may they, may, may they rest in peace. These guys are trying to board school buses full of children in San Diego while the children are on their way to school. They're standing at the children's bus stops. They are blocking the bus. All right. These people are going door to door in Aurora, Colorado. It's spreading down to Denver. It's going everywhere now. It's states. It's states. It's at least three states right now. And they're collecting the landlord's rent money, but not for the landlord, <laughs> for them. And they're doing it with guns, and they're daring the landlord. And this is crazy, ladies and gentlemen. We have never seen nothing like this. We have never seen nothing like this. This is crazy. The only people I believe when they speak up and say they wish that they are, that these Venezuelans do this <clears throat> in their community, the only people I believe, ladies and gentlemen, kings and queens, brothers and sisters, and I'm going to stand 10 toes down when I say this, it's not even the Muslims. Now, I do believe the Muslims would get down, but the only group I believe thoroughly, wholeheartedly is them hell's angels. If them hell's angels say it, boy, consider it doctrine. <laughs> the same way you believe in the Bible, boy. 
It's the same way you better believe them hell's angels if they tell you what's about to happen and what they better do and they wish somebody would. I'm telling you, the hell's angels will pull up on the Venezuelans. So we are about we are about to experience a great civil unrest. We're about to see another civil war, ladies and gentlemen. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. So all you Second Amendment, you know, right lovers and protectioners and, you know, everyone who protects the Second Amendment right, everyone who believes in it, everyone who bleeds for the NRA Republicans, you're backed by the NRA Republicans. Let's see what you do. Let's see what you do on the right. Because <laughs> this thing don't went totally left. <laughs> Talk about radical love. And then she kind of got enough nerves to want to speak on this. You got enough nerves to want to speak on this. How can you speak on it when you're a part of the administration that allowed it to happen? Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> protect your children and, and y'all thugs and gangsters. You know, pull your pants up so you can at least run when the Venezuelans pull up. You don't need to be tripping and falling because your pants hanging below your gluteus maximus or maximus, or however you say it, below your butt. You know what I'm saying? Pull your pants up. You know what I'm saying? Pull them up. You're going to have to run, man. You ain't learned that from having to run for the popo. You ain't wearing no belt. You got one good hand because your other hand is holding your pants up while you walk all wide leg. You might need to run. Pull your pants up so you can run. If it's one thing I know about black folks, boy, a lot of us can get up and get out of there, boy. We run like some rabbits, boy. Well, we run like Kunta. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So in order for y'all to be able to run like Kunta, pull your pants up, man. Well, at least put a belt on. Real talk, because the Venezuelan is coming. Don't call them out. <laughs> Please don't call them out. Do not call them out, because <laughs> they're coming. You know what I'm saying? they coming. With that being said, ladies and gentlemen, man, y'all better take this thing a lot more serious than what y'all doing, man, because this is real. This is real. And like I said, they give zero face. Now, I'm not saying it's all of them. I'm talking about the ones that's in this specific game. Now, to all the Venezuelans who are here who are causing no trouble, who wake up, who make money, who take care of their families. Hey, we brothers. I'm cool. We solid. You know what I'm saying? But this Venezuelan prison game, these people that they are letting over here out of prison, out of mental wars and everything else, just to make their country better and safer for the other Venezuelans, well, now they've endangered our life due to these open borders that the people, that a majority of you are probably going to go out and vote for created. That's a whole different video. And that'll be my next video. But man... <laughs> the Venezuelans are coming. The Venezuelans are coming. <laughs> oh my goodness, ladies and gentlemen, man. Y'all get y'all one on one. Get your one on one. Get your one on one with your higher power. There's only one God, man. There's only one God, man. <laughs> Y'all stay praying up, stay blessed up, stay meditated up, stay protected, stay real, stay woke, stay uncut, be inspired, be great, be you. Man, I, I, I promise, boy, this is funnier than the size of my ex-wife underwear. Boy, this is funny, boy, God, you don't ever say what the Venezuelans won't do. Because they just may do it. Ah, shake.